Hello everyone, this is the Crimson Cure, welcoming you to the Crimson Tower, a place where we keep a feminine foot on the neck of the gynocracy, feminism, and black male misandry. So go ahead, pull up a chair, stay a while, and listen. A father means so many things. An understanding heart, a source of strength and support right from the very start. A constant readiness to help in a kind and thoughtful way with encouragement and forgiveness no matter what comes your way. A special generosity and affection too. A father means so many things when he's a black man like you. To all the black men in the black manosphere, happy Father's Day from all of us in the A-game family. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am, of course, your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about Father's Day without women. Novel idea seems pretty, you know, interesting to me. Uh, they don't need the women. They don't need you to have Father's Day. You know, I told you guys I drive Uber. So the radio's on the whole time that I'm driving. And the lead up to Father's Day, they've been talking about it all week. And the men are saying stuff about themselves being fathers and men that they know that mentor and do all these other things. And it's almost like they put a disclaimer in, you know, we celebrating Father's Day, you know, no disrespect to the women, you know, and to the mothers, you know, y'all did y'all thing, y'all do y'all thing, you know, we know, but we just trying to celebrate Father's Day. And I'm like, why is Father's Day a disrespect automatically to mothers? When that happened, is Mother's Day automatic disrespect to fathers? I don't see the men, I don't see the women making no disclaimer about having Mother's Day. Not one time, all over social media, you're making it about you. Well, I'm the mother and the father. This, this, is, this is lies. Okay, listen. First of all, the men do not need to apologize for having one day out of the year that honors them. Black men go through a lot of the stigma. You still got okra week for you out here capping and talking about, you know, the, the, the stigma of black men not being good fathers is incorrect. Don't get me started back on her. Black men have fought through the stigma, the stereotype that they are not good fathers, that they abandon their children, that they don't care about their children, that want to take care of their children and all of these sorts of things. Father's Day is special for black men really because they be busy trying to prove that they are fathers. These men do a lot of toiling and much of it in silence, fighting in court to be part of their children's lives, being dragged through court systems, through just a circle of friends with their uh, mothers of their children, calling them deadbeats when they're not, when they're really trying to be in their children's life, when they're active in their, their children's lives, when they pay for their children, when they take care of their children, when they're trying to do homework with their children and resolve their children's issues and love them and do all of these sorts of things in an, from a defensive position where they're being pushed back against whether they're actually performing this job admirably or not. They go through a lot of just what men have to do in order in this country to really be viewed as good fathers. And black men have to go above and beyond all the time in order to be considered decent fathers. When that same effort made by other men of other groups make them excellent fathers. We don't give them near enough credit and to use this day to make it more about you than it is about the father and his relationship to the children is just a salt in the wound. It really is a salt in the wound. It really is something that I'm going to need y'all ladies to try to be ladies on Father's Day. I'm going to need you to try to step back out of your masculine energy. You being extra masculine does not make you a father. 
Y'all all on social media talking about I should get Father's Day too because I'm the mother and the father. You'll never be the father. You're be Some of you are barely the mother. Let's just understand that some of you are not good mothers. So I know you ain't tripping. You knocked that all the way off. As I said before, black men go through a lot to fight against the tide of the negative stereotype that they are not involved, that they do not love their children, that they do not take care of their children, that they are not in their children's lives in any meaningful capacity. They're fighting that stereotype inside of the community and outside of it. When there is plenty of black men that I know personally who were nothing but excellent fathers and they mentor other people's children that's not even theirs. They give and support, they give a leadership, they give their guidance, they give their provision, they give their problem solving, they give their protection to children that may or may not be biologically theirs. And they do it without complaining about it while being dragged for, for whatever shortcomings in that that they may have. So can, can we have Father's Day without the input of women trying to make it about them? Is that possible? I'm going to need y'all to fall back. Those of you who are doing that, I need y'all to fall back. It's so uncouth. And it's just bad form and bad taste. Like I said, it's assault in the wound. Try to be, try to be ladies on Father's Day. Try. You know that the father of your children been trying to be in their life. Give them to them at least for that day. It's cruel. For those of you who do that, that withhold the children from them. So let's try to have Father's Day for fathers. Men. Just because you in your masculine energy, boo-boo kitty, does not make you a father. You never will be, all right? You're not a dude. You're not a man. I'm going to need you to ice that. I'm going to need you to knock it off. Every time these men try to have one dang gone day where he needs to be able to kick back or his children treat him to treat him to some type of dinner or whatever kind of gifts us and God forbid you treat him to a gift. You want him to treat you to a gift for mother's day. You ain't his mama. You is not his mama, but you want him to give you money, gifts, dinner, this, that, and the third on mother's day. Girl, bye. God forbid you cook, cook him a dinner that don't come out of a box in a can, actually put some thought into it, actually try to cook him a dinner that he wants. Okay, and let that be that. Knock it off. Let these men unapologetically have this day that is designated for them. And really, it should be every day. You should be able to honor your parents every day or the people who have acted as your parents. Because there are a lot of men who actually do reach out and take care of a lot of children that are not theirs. And they don't have to do that. But they are seeing a need and reacting to it, responding to it rather. So before I wrap this up, I want to give a, a much love to all of the biological fathers, all of the stepfathers, the coaches, the mentors, the men who just look out after the kids or whatever capacity that you are acting as a father or doing fatherly things for children, whether they be your children or someone else's children, I give you a warm, warm salute and a shout out and much love on this Father's Day. I want you all to enjoy your day, whatever that means to you. And I want everybody to sound off in the comment section. Can we have a Father's Day without women or do women need to make it about them? And what do you get out of it? When you make this day about you, how does that help you? How does it help the children? 
How does it help the fathers? I need to know. All right. So like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I am your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.